Hi there, my name is Bobby Alwazidi and uh, I am the coordinator for uh, Power Systems Engineering. Uh, I want to start a presentation on uh, this program for the open house. So as you can see in the screen, the program name is Power Systems Engineering. It's a bachelor degree program. Um, it is a four-year degree program, mandatory co-op. Uh, it is under School of Engineering and Technology at Cambridge campus. Program coordinator, myself, uh, Bobby Alwazidi. If you have any questions, please email me at um, I al-wazedi at constavacy.on.ca. A little bit about my background. I have a PhD in electrical and computer engineering, and I am also a professional engineer of Ontario. Um, if you want to look into the program, um, a little bit more onto the program, please click onto this um, webpage or um, over your mouse on top of this and, um, and the web, pay, uh, web address will pop up, copy that web, web address and uh, put it in a browser and you can see a video uh, of this program. Some of the highlights, um, a lot of students um, do not like large class size. So this program would be lucrative for those students who like smaller class sizes. Also, this is a project-based learning program. So you will have eight different projects in eight semesters to complete. And this will give you a lot of hands-on experience. Advocate employability skills for the graduates. And obviously it's a mandatory co-op program. Now I want you to want to give you a overview of power systems engineering, what we're going to learn and what we're going to work on. So power systems engineering, we're gonna look into three different aspects. One is generation of the power, one and second one is the transmission, and next one is the distribution. So as you know, power has to be generated um, from some place, and then it has to be transported to some other place for the distribution. So all of these together would make you uh, become a power systems engineer. Over here, what I want you to want you guys to be trained in is electrical engineering. So not only these jobs on power systems and the utilities, but you would um, you would be able to do other electrical jobs that I'm going to describe uh, in a couple of slides later. So generation will have conventional wind and solar. Now on the transmission side, you will have, you'll be designing transmission lines. You will be designing um, uh, transformers, protection of protection and control from smart grids. In the distribution side, you will be working on smart metering, um, electric vehicles, and also design of substations, protection and control. Now, how would we acquire this knowledge, whole knowledge? So first year, you will learn physics, basic electrical and electronics theory, mathematics, and chemistry. And then with these, all, of, all of these knowledge, then you would be able to um, work on electrical motors, power transformers, power electronics, and also instrumentation. And that would give you the knowledge to work on all of these generation, transmission, and distribution, and which will help you become a power systems engineer. Now, next one is BYOD requirements. So bring your own device. So now um, you have to bring your own laptop to the program. Now, this, these are the requirements, minimum requirements. So it has to be a seven generation Intel Core i5 um, processor. And please go through these and try to buy a device similar to um, these requirements. And, um, and uh, that would be perfect. Um, virtual tour, if you want to look into the labs, 
you can go into this link. So if you hover your mouse on top of this, you will have the HTTP address and uh, copy that link, put it on a browser, and then you'll be able to see our labs. Carrier opportunities. So the two main areas that I'm going to train you is the power systems and industrial automation. Now in power systems, the carriers, carrier you'll have in a local utilities, it may be design and maintenance, electrical farms, field service, uh, electrical distributors, technical sales, and automation. You'll be able to work as a designer, systems designer, systems integrator, programmer, and electrical distributors as technical sales. So a couple of the companies, um, a logo I put in, like Hydro One, uh, Kitchen of Wilmot Hydro, Waterloo Hydro North, these are the utilities, Union Gas, Aramosa, Epticon, these are the places I believe you, you will be hired in in near future. Now, um, next slide, I'm going to go through the delivery sequence. So in the delivery sequence, so the year one, let's say you start in 2020, fall 2020. So you will complete your studies for fall and winter. Then the spring, you'll be, there will be a break. You, you finish year one, you finish year two of your studies, then you go for a work term. And then after that, you come back, finish the third year. And um, after finishing the third year, you'll have two work, co-op work terms. And you come back to the college, finish the last year of your program. One of these, um, in the past few years, uh, past a couple of years, um, a lot of students are asking me this question, is PSE a fully, fully accredited program by Canadian Engineering Accreditation Board? So unfortunately, it's not yet accredited by CEAB. Now, uh, the process is CEAB, CEAB does not give accreditation to the program at the first year. CEAB will visit us um, when the first cohort um, has fit, uh, completed three years in the program. As you know, we have already, we have uh, two uh, fully accredited programs at Comstock College uh, in engineering. Uh, and with that experience, I believe before the CEAB visit will be prepared. I want to go through um, uh, the level one courses. So um, the first one is engineering drawing. So um, it would be AutoCAD drawing, 2D, not 3D, it's 2D. Engineering project, it will be doing um, project on residential wiring, and relays, and control devices. Um, then basic electrical and magnetic circuit. This is one of the um, most important courses in electrical engineering. It's a theory class and it has a lab component in it. Foundation module. So foundation module and this group dynamics. These two courses will happen, uh, will occur two weeks prior to um, 8th of September the actual class start date, two weeks prior. And uh, these are a two, two week course and um, it, it would help you, um, help you um, migrate, uh, smooth, uh, help you uh, have a smooth migration uh, to the program. So math, then physics, and introduction to natural sciences. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you'll have six courses in the fall term, two courses um, two weeks prior to uh, September 8th, the actual class start date. Um, if you have more questions, uh, this is uh, the web page uh, that um, uh, you can copy and paste it uh, on the browser and see um, see about the program. Look at, and um, if you have more questions, please email me at ial-wazedi at comstogac.on.ca. Thank you and have a wonderful day.